And I think, I think I'm live. Uh, hello, everybody who was in the chat. Please let me know if you can hear me and see me okay in the chat. The chat is, of course, broken again. Um, this is really weird, this chat. It, it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. And I don't know why. And I keep removing it and re-adding it. And that seems to make it work for a minute. Um, but then it goes again. So if I refresh this, hopefully the chat will appear. Ding, there you go, chat appears. Right, Claire's here, Gareth's here, you can hear me and see me and I am live. Excellent, thank you very much for joining me. So January 2021, one of my plans for January 2021 was to take most of the month off from my paid work and to produce loads of live streams of me playing board games just for fun, not commissioned in any way, shape or form, uh, funded purely through the Patreon channel. So thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters. And part of my January plans is that a number of friends were going to be coming over and playing games with me. Uh, and one of my friends and patron supporter, John Dunnett, was going to be coming over, driving over this morning. We were going to be playing Great Western Trail this afternoon together, something else tonight. He was going to stay over and then we we're going to play games all day tomorrow. Now, of course, that's not happening because of lockdown in the UK. However, we have the next best thing. I have the physical game set up and John is joining me over Skype. Good afternoon, John. Hello. Here Hello, we go. <laughs> and we've both got our hats on as well. So... Which means I can't play the wearer of the hat gets plus 10 points rule because... Oh. <laughs> well, how about that then? Yay! Right, okay. Um, so, Great Western Trail, my joint favourite game of 2016, along with Feast for Odin. Um, but I've not played this for about two years, whereas John, the word addiction comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But in a good way. A healthy addiction, because yes. it's a fantastic game. Absolutely. And you've played this game, you said earlier on, about 70 times? Yes, with uh, I recognise a few names in the, in the yep. chat, so um, they're probably going to be critiquing, critiquing my play <laughs> as, as we go. Yeah. I'm feeling a bit embarrassed here, because I'm absolutely sure I'm going to lose against you, Paul, well, after the, if, after the if, digging up bit. If you do, then... Well, yeah, but yeah, I've not played this in two years. I remember most of the rules. I have absolutely no memory of any kind of strategy or anything else uh, other than you really need to get the high numbers to deliver to the big cities. Mm -hmm. And if you end up constantly not getting the high numbers, then you have to place your discs in the lower area, which is bad. Yeah. Not really a strategy. It's just no. <laughs> that's how you that play is, the game. That is true. Yes, Sometimes. and the chat is um, broken again. Oh, well, while you're pain. fiddling with the chat, I, I've got to say that my setting up at home is made a lot faster by one of your very lovely patrons, Chrissy, who at the start of lockdown printed me a 3D oh, nice. set of colour-coded doodads. So shout out to Chrissy for yeah, saving me about Chrissy. 10 minutes today. I have, the, um, I have the folded space set of inserts for mine. So most of it is off camera. I do have the cards in one of these mm -hmm. and i have the the one two and three tokens in these boxes so we do we do have some stuff off screen anyway today is going to be more of a playthrough it's not really going to be a tutorial um if you don't know how to play then you will sort of pick it up as you go along but yeah we're, we're just going to concentrate on playing the game today the only tutorial part will be the bit where john reminds me of actually how to play the game because i've mostly forgotten in terms Should of the setup sorry in terms of the setup, we have gone with the full uh, variable setup rules. So the neutral buildings for your first game, it suggests you put them A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, we've randomized them, which is what you're supposed to do. Uh, also, each player's 10 buildings that they get, these are all double-sided. So each player has exactly the same 10 buildings, but they're double-sided. One player randomly decides which side each building is, and then all of the players copy that. So for those of you that are interested, uh, we're using 1a 2a 3b 4b 5b 6b 7b 8b and then 9a and 9 and 10a uh john has got exactly the same set of buildings they are off camera uh but yeah all players use exactly the same set of a or b and it's it's different abilities on each side so i would say that this game has quite a lot of variability now john you've played it 70 times you think that yeah absolutely i mean there's a million combinations which you get at startup just from the buildings and the yeah. And the placement of the neutral buildings alone before you even get to which work has come out and the uh, yeah. and all that good stuff. 
Right, each of us have got a starting objective card. John has got the one that requires two stations and a green TP. I've got the one that requires a blue TP and two hazard tiles. Uh, four new objectives have been dealt out here. The market is seven cards for a two-player game. It would be 10 in a three-player game, 13 uh, in a four-player game. We've done starting ones here. We've randomly put the station tiles there. So yeah, huge amount of variability in the setup. The only thing we haven't done, I believe, is decide who's going first. So, who's wearing a hat? Uh, yes. First tiebreaker is who's wearing a hat. <laughs> Second tiebreaker, John, my left hand or my right hand? Your right hand. Okay, this is the start player. It is you. <laughs> okay, okay, so you start with six coins. And I start with seven coins. Okay. okay. Uh, now, the way that we're going to do this playing remotely is... John is going to manage his own deck of cards. So I'm not going to do his deck at all. John has got the game set up there. John's going to do his own cards. So whenever a card gets added into John's deck, I will take it from the board and just put it over there. Uh, and John will be mirroring that at his end. But what you do is you've got your own deck of cards to start with. Each player's deck is identical. And you draw four. Mm -hmm. It's four, isn't it? Um, yeah. And, now, the, how and the deck count goes up on the... How, how important is it that you don't know what cards the other player has in their hand? Not really, Not is really. it? Not really. No. You might okay. get an inkling about how likely they are to stop more than an optimal amount of time around the board. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got my cards in hand, and I'm actually just going to keep them here in front of me so that they are off camera. Yeah, me there too. Go. I've, got my, oh, I've got mine. Right. Yeah. Now, all, also, when you play the game the first time, your cowboys start off at the start of the trail, I believe. But when you play the full game, which is what we're doing now, your first movement is actually to any of the neutral buildings on the board. So literally, you could start off at the very, very end and make a, an initial run to Kansas if you wanted to. Um, your, your decision about where you go will depend on a million different factors, which I, I yeah. I can't really explain. I know about them, but there's no way that I can work out what <laughs> what's going on from this. Um, but anyway, you're you're up first, John. Do you? And, and I presume you want you'd like us to talk through our decisions as we're as we're I, doing. I, them? I think so. Yeah. 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 Okay. So your turn consists of three phases. The first phase is that you will move your cowboy a certain yeah. number of spaces on the board. But yeah. for the first turn of the game, that's that's different. The first turn of the yeah. game, you just choose one of the neutral buildings. Phase yeah. B is where you then resolve the actions of the building where you land. And then phase C, what do you do in phase C? Kind of clean up, isn't it? Yes. Right, there you go. That's roughly it. So, do you know which building you would like to start yes. on? Yes, I would like to go right to the end, please, Paul. You're going right to the end. Okay, so the uh, action on this building is you can discard a White Guernsey cow. cow. Mm -hmm two money yeah. and then you you can recruit one or two workers yeah i'm not going to discard the cow you're not uh, going to I'm, right no and i'm going to build the builder and spend all my money so you spend so I have six no money, money left and i'm going to buy, build the builder uh, buy the builder please buy the builder so the builder is this one sorry this one? the craftsman as it's officially known i think you can buy yeah, either it's the orange one. one no i can you, you can't buy on the row with the blue dot can't buy on the road with that. Okay, so you buy that. That goes on your player board there. Each player starts with one of each worker, and yeah. you get bonuses as you progress upwards. Yeah. Now, John, if he had the money, could actually hire a second worker as well, but he's now skinned, so that's it. Yeah. So why have um, you chosen to do that as your first move? Okay. I happen, even off camera, I happen to have drawn the perfect hand that I can at this level, which is seven points. Oh, to three, go for... Two, three, two cows and a one. Yeah. To go for here. Right. Okay. And um, looking at the buildings, yep. um, there are a couple of really cool buildings in 2B, sorry, 3B and 4B yep. um, that can be built with two workers. And I thought I would try that as right. a starting strategy. Okay. So... That is your go done. Now, if you had have discarded any cards, you would now draw back up to your hand size. That's right. Are you yeah. allowed to voluntarily discard cards at the end of your turn? You're not, are no. you? Right, no. okay. 
So yeah, it's a deck builder of sorts, but you, you don't play all of your cards and then recycle them. If you don't have a way of playing or discarding your cards, you, you actually can't. Right, my go. Uh, where's my eight-sided dice with letters on? <laughs> Uh, now, can I could go to the same place as you, couldn't I? Yeah, no reason why not. Um, I think I might start slow. Yeah, let, let's start slow. Let's go to the first place on the board. Right, so this is building B. Uh, it has two abilities. The first ability is I could discard a Dutch belt cow and get two money, which I will. So I discard a Dutch belt cow from my hand and I get two money. Let's get this mouse. Uh. Rock, okay. Rock Howard is in the chat. Matt's Hello, here. Rock. Rick's here. Hello, Matt. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Uh, then I can, this looks like build a building. And what's this? Engineer to discount. Sorry, no. Every level, for every level of building, you pay $2. Every level of building, you pay $2. Yeah. Right. Well, I've got loads of... So I could build any of these. Well, not Sorry, any of them. You can only build the level of building that you have builders for. So at the moment, you have one builder. Yeah. So you can only build level one building. The ones, right. As well if as you... the cost being two yes. per... Right, okay. Yeah. So uh, let's, let's do it. Let's spend two money. Um, yes, I'm trying the Dutch belt opening. Absolutely right, Matt. I read about it last night. Because there was nothing else to read on the internet last night, so I thought I'd read um, Opening Strategies for Great Western Trail. That was sarcastic. Uh, so this can go anywhere on the board. Yep. But if I put it here and then decide to go this way, this is going to be really expensive. Mm -hmm. You probably won't have enough money to buy a cow. Maybe you will. Yeah. So I... Now there's no hands on this, so it's not going to be made more expensive for anybody else. A yep. normal movement in a two-play game is three spaces. Yep, to start with. So I'm just going to put it here, because I don't really know. And then, because I have now fewer than four cards in hand, I draw another card. That's me done. Okay, so nice thing about me being where I am is I get to go to Kansas now, and everybody can see how that works. That Already. <laughs> Already. So you move to Kansas. Kansas, right. So the first thing you do is take one of these two tiles mm -hmm. and put it in the appropriate position on the board. So I will take the swater, swater, the swamp or water hazard, yeah. please. And pop it down there. there. Then? Uh, cowboy, please. Cowboy. So that goes into the market, pushing that down yep. to there. And, and then? Builder. And builder, please. Which goes to there. Okay, step four is you reveal uh, your hand of cards and they have to be different cows. Ooh, where's the camera? There we go. So I have <laughs> a maximum score at the start of the game of seven. So you've got a, a Jersey cow, a Black Angus, a Dutch Belt, yeah. Yeah. and a Guernsey. Yeah. So they all have to be different. Yeah. Okay. And then you can, if you wanted to, add any... Temporary certifications or which permanent I don't certifications. Have. If you don't, so the value is seven. Uh, yep. What then and happens yep. is you then discard your entire hand, yep. and we go to here. So you can put yep. a disc on the board on any city up to value yep. seven. Yeah. So I'm going to deliver to Kansas City to start with. Yep. Which is the zero one, and I'm going to take the top, uh, the top auxiliary action. This disc one? and pop it there, yeah. Please. Okay, now Kansas City is actually negative six points at the end of the game for every disc mm -hmm. that is there because you can put multiple discs yeah. in Kansas and San Francisco. I've just noticed that my camera is very choppy. It's doing that problem again that we've had before. So hopefully it's not too bad for everybody. Um, but yeah, whenever I seem to do live streams, there's a 50-50 chance that uh, there will be this problem. And it's completely outside of my control, it seems. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's nothing, nothing really I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, so seven, seven plus six is thirteen, I think. Seven plus six. Oh, because you, you get the seven money. Seven money from my, my anyway, um, and yeah. for putting a disc in Kansas City, you get an extra six. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and also, if if the disc that you place is beyond where your train is, you have to pay. 
Yeah, red red crosses. Oh, for the number of red crosses. That's yes. it. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I'll go back to the start. So there is a question in the chat. What is the strategy? Why did you deliver to the zero spot rather than Colorado Springs? Okay, I'll talk about that while Paul has a think. Uh, yes. My cowboy back to the start. Oh yeah. So um, at the start of the of the base game of Great Western Trail, money is key. Money is incredibly tight, and so what has kind of evolved over time is that people tend to take the pain of the negative victory points probably for the first two rounds of the game sometimes sometimes i've seen people do it for three times okay um just to get enough cash to start their engine if you like going right. so it's similar in a way to a martin wallace game with loans you've effectively okay. you, you've lost six points to give you a cash boost at the start that yep. will that will pay benefits later yeah right okay um, well, I can now move three spaces. Now, do you count the blank spaces as well? No. You don't? No. Ah, so. Uh, but I am just going to go to my own building here because sure. that allows me to discard a Guernsey cow for money because you said money was tight. Mm -hmm. And it has the cow symbol on, which means I can buy one cow from the market. Mm -hmm. You have right? one cowboy. Have one cowboy. One cowboy. So I can buy one so of you... these for six. Yes. Yep. or one of these for 12 but i can't yep. buy one of these that's right now i only have 11 so i can't buy one of the brown cows but i will spend six um and you always buy the blue one no you can buy whichever one you want well i can however but... the blue one has the most victory points yeah at this point i'd buy the blue one and that goes to my discard pile is that right yeah that's right okay that is my go done i've still got three cards in hand so i draw a new one right there we go where would you like to go? Okay, uh, I'll go to the... Oh, I need to draw four cards. Nope. One, two, three. <laughs> well, I'll go to the first, uh, first spot, please. Yep. And I will th throw away my green card. You have a Dutch belt for two more money. Two more money. Yep. And are you building a and building? I will build uh, 4B straight in front of where you are, please. 4B or not 4B? Indeed. Okay, so this requires two workers, uh, sorry, two craftsmen, which you have, will cost you four money. It'll go there. Oh, and look at that. He's blocked me. All right, so the, this building having that. a black hand on it means whenever I move through or land on it, I need to pay some money to John. So. It's a bit mean, sorry. No, that's fine. We were saying before the stream started, this is the player interaction in the game, is, is the placement of these buildings and watching what the other player's strategy is and taking out what they need from here. Speaking of uh, things, I forgot to replenish. To refresh your doodads. Yeah. So we need another... The future market, I believe. It is a, a, uh, a canyon hazard for the number one. The number two is another engineer. And in the three box... We have a cowboy. Okay. I don't know if you remember, Paul, but I I put the third blue hazard down at the bottom. Yep. And it's worth four points. Yeah. I did yep. that specifically so if you hadn't built where you were building. So I now know that you want to go and use your building, right? So I, that's why I yep. put the five to the other side. I've also, I'm also building up hazards. So if you decide I don't want to use my building, I, you've got to pay cash yep. to go the other way. But what I should have done is I should have realised that you probably were going to build a building and I should have put my building there. Maybe. Potentially what I should have done. Right. My go. Uh, again, I can move three. Now, I don't really want to stop on your building. No, you don't. No, because you can only do one of the reactions. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to move one, two, three. I'm going to skip over this one. So I have to pay you two coins. Yeah. To move through so i'm down to three hang on i've got a long reach to dorset or wherever it's devon hang on oh <laughs> there we go there we go got the money stolen my money uh and at this place i can discard two cows the same well i do happen to have two black anguses yay that's four money um and for seven i can buy a hazard tile which is what i'm going to do so 
I spend seven money and I am going to buy this swamp hazard because it's worth four points. Oh, Don seems to have disappeared on Skype. Hopefully he'll be back. Is he back? Don't know if he's back or not. Yes, hazard tiles are seven. They are very expensive. Uh, is John back? Yep, yeah, I think you're back. I'm back now. You are yeah. back now. Yeah. You froze. You froze in my world. I don't know why. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah. So I bought a hazard tile. I took the four victory point tile from here. Yeah. And then I will draw two cards. Am I go done? Okay. Ooh. Can you hear me, right, Paul? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. I think the the lip sync might be out. Okay. I've oh. currently got a red and green overlay over the Skype screen. Right. Um, okay, no, the li concept. lip sync's fine. But yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay. Um, it's like someone's put one of those foil wrappers from a Christmas suite that you hold up to the light and it all goes green. It's gone across my screen at the moment. Oh, right. Do you want to close Skype down and restart it? Uh, and I will do my turn. Okay. <clears throat> It does mean I actually can't see where I am. Oh, there I am. Okay. You're here. So I'm going to, I'm going to land on the building that I've just put down, please. Yeah. You walk past mine. You land yeah. on here. Yeah. And that means I, the iconography says I draw a card. And then discard one. Yeah. yeah. So I've got four cards. I draw one and I discard one. Mm -hmm. It allows you to okay. cycle through your deck so that you get the card yeah. you want more. And then you yeah. can move three spaces. Yeah, so uh, I will move. How many cows have I got left? There's a timing thing about when you want to buy cows. So you want to. Right. By spending money, you're investing it in your deck. You want to get the investment back as soon as possible. So if you're close yep. to the end of the deck when you buy a cow, that's a good thing. Um, so if you could move me to the, to the thing that says a pair of swap a pair of cows, the same one you're on. Sorry. Where I am, yeah. yep. Yeah. So I'm going to sell a pair of black cows. For four money. You are now on four 17 money. money. Am I? Wow. Yep. Okay. Would you like to buy a hazard tile? Uh, no. Thank okay. You. Right. So yeah, if you want to reboot Skype, <clears throat> see if that fixes the problem. Yep. Hopefully you can rejoin the conversation without me needing to call you again. Yep. Uh, and I will take my turn. So where do we want to go? We don't really want to go there. Do I want to go there? Now I do need a blue TP, and there is a blue TP, but it is going to cost three money to go there. It's either that or we go up here because that's buying another cow but I don't have enough money to buy the other cow. I also need to look at my hand because I also have... Let's just get John back in. There we go. Is that any better? Yes. Okay, right. We're sorted. Um, I'm just working out where I want to go because I can't get to Kansas at the moment. That's right. Because um, it's too far away. But there is this one. Unfortunately, yeah, I, as you say, cash is important at the start of the game and I ain't got any. <laughs> so all the places where I was looking to go to that would get me a nice amount of cash, unfortunately, a bit of a problem. And that is just move my train once, which is a bit weak. Yep. That is yeah. get a TP Pick and do an, yeah. yeah, trade with tribes. Yeah. Yeah, which is going to cost money, which I don't have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you do those actions in any order? You can, can't you? Yes, you can. But I don't need a green TP tile. I need a black one. Uh, yeah, sorry, I need a blue cost, one. They will cost you money anyway, so as you yeah. said. Um, the, the only time that you, there is a sort of restriction on doing things is when you go to a turnout or a siding at the top of the game, but we, we'll get to that when we... Up here. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So, not in the best position here. Uh, 
I think, and I kind of don't want to do, well, maybe I do. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go one, two to here. I'm going to discard a Black Angus for two coins and then just say done because I don't have enough money to to buy a cow. Okay, I'll join so, you, Paul. Okay, I'm drawing a new card. You join me here. Are you discarding a Black Angus? No, I don't have one in my hand. Okay. As my father would say, I have a hand like a foot and a foot like a barrel of treacle. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, but I will spend six money. money. Uh, hang on, no, no, no. Wait a sec. Oh, you could spend twelve. I could, but I'm not going to. You're right. Okay. Six money. I'm going to buy a, a blue cow. Please. Yeah, an Ayrshire cow. There you go. An Ayrshire. Okay. Right. My go. Yeah. So I go to. Uh, now that will still not get me enough money to buy anything. So I think I am going to go to Kansas. So the yeah. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. Um, this hazard tile over here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put this engineer here. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put this engineer here. Okay. I'll replenish those now. We have a blue TP. Oops. Uh, we have an engineer. And we have a craftsman. Okay. So I have uh, five points mm -hmm. worth of cows. Unfortunately, my other one is a duplicate. So I still have to discard this, but I don't actually get any money for it. So mm -hmm. my value is five. I can't boost it with certificates. So I get five money and I can put one of these on the board. Now I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm not going to go for Kansas City. I'm going to take. I'm going to take the top one. Do I take the top one off? No, I'm going to take the bottom one off. I'm going to take this bottom disc off and I'm going to put it on Wichita. Uh, Wichita, which I'm allowed to do because my value was five and that's only needed as a value of four. But because there is one stop between that disc and my train, I have to pay one for it. So instead of getting five money, I only get four money. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, my cowboy returns to the start. And once you've got discs in adjacent spaces, uh, you will get either an immediate bonus and or mm -hmm. end of game points. And apart from Kansas City and San Francisco, each player can only have one disc in each of the cities. That's right. I believe. Okay. I draw four new cards. Mm -hmm. You'll go. Uh, okay. Uh, I will land on the um, human, human hiring space. Yep. Yeah. I shall use my white cow to generate two cash. Two money. And then who would you like to buy? I'm going to buy a cowboy for six of your earth. Six money. Um, you could buy a second one. Because this engineer only costs five, but you have to pay an extra two. So you do have the money if you wanted to. Uh, Matt is On telling me how other. to pronounce Wichita. Yeah. Wichita. Yeah, there's a linesman there, isn't there? I think. I think there's a linesman <laughs> yeah. in Wichita. Wichita. I'm going to struggle with so little cash. Yes. Although I've got some now. <laughs> no, it's not enough pull, to be honest. No, I know. Yeah, I'm playing Great Western Trail with the uh, with the low cash gambit strategies. <laughs> which will be written about on BGG in about two hours time as don't try this, it doesn't work. Um, okay, who's going? Uh, I thought it was you, but it's not you, is it? It's me. Yeah, I need to pause for one second. Okay. I just want to see if my 
daughter is trying to eat our bandwidth by <laughs> doing something at the same time. Bear with. Well, it looks okay. Okay. Um, All right. I'll stay here then. Yeah, everything everything looks fine. Uh, now then, I only have one craftsman, so the only other building I can build is that one, and the A side is only really for money for things that you've built in the forest. Oh, I don't want to pay you taxes for going here. Although there is a there is a, there is an interesting quirk with the game, isn't there? That if you don't have the money, you don't pay it. That's right. So I could go here and just buy a cow, and then I have no money left, and then move on. But I kind of want to ditch a cow for four money. Um, but I also don't want to pay four taxes to the bank. Yeah, it's a it's a tricky one. It is a real tricky one. I'm going to. Uh, so I've got six money. If I go on there, I'll get two. That'll be eight. I'll then build a building. That'll go back down to six. Right, I have a plan. The plan is I am going to ditch a Dutch belt cow for two money, but I am not going to build a building. Yeah. Draw a card. You'll go. Now, my deck is now empty, but I don't reshuffle. Is that right? That's right. Not until okay. you need to draw the card. Until I need to draw a card. Right. Okay. Uh, and Claire is reminding me that you can upgrade a building. I had forgotten that. So thank you for that. Yes. Now, when okay, you upgrade so... a building, so I, mm -hmm. because I've got one craftsman, I could have yeah. upgraded that one into a two. Yeah. Or you could have built another one, obviously. Or I could have built the other one. Yeah. Okay. If you want Thank to do that, that, that's fine by me, Paul. No, no, I'm not going to do it because I have a plan for this tile. Okay. So, so you're going to Kansas. I am. Okay. So this time I have an amazing three-point hand. Way. But are you blue TPing or green TPing? Oh, sorry. Uh... Green TP, please. Green TP goes onto the one space. Uh, engineer or engineer? That's engineer. Yeah. And then craftsman or cowboy? Cowboy, please. Okay, right. So you've got a three-point hand. So where are you mm -hmm. going to put a disc? Uh, Kansas City, please. Okay, which disc are you going to place? Uh, the swapping of the cows, the second one down. This one? Yeah. So another disc on Kansas City. Gets you another six money plus the three, yeah. giving you now sixteen dollars. Yes, I agree. Okay. Thank you. Let's start. And you get a new hand of cards. Uh, I have to shuffle. So I go to here, I play that or discard that. I get four money. I then buy a cow. I spend five, six, I spend twelve money to buy a West Highland cow, which goes into my discard pile. Um, that is my turn done. I have no cards in my deck and I need to draw a card. So I will shuffle my deck. And off we go. This is a great game. I, I, I hadn't forgotten how good it was. You know, I, I remember it being great, mm -hmm. but now that I'm playing it again, it's like, this is brilliant. This is just so good. This has kept me sane over the last nine months of yeah. the world's yeah. nonsense, to be honest. And it's still my favourite Alexander Pfister title. I mean, I like a lot of his other games, but this is my favourite one of his. Right. Well, obviously I have been videoed winning, if slightly by mistake, the <laughs> other game that we've played together in Pfister. Mm -hmm. um, is he in the chat today, Paul? Did you invite him? Uh, I did tell him about half an hour ago, but I think half an hour notice is not enough for him to, <laughs> to oh, pop in. But. I don't know. I have just got a fantastic hand. Not right. Well, I've got I've got four of a kind, but in this game, me too. Four <laughs> of a kind doesn't really do anything for you, does it? <laughs> It'd be okay if we were playing poker, right? Yeah. Um, what was I going to do next? <sighs> just restocking the market. There we go. Okay, I will uh, build a building, please, Paul. Are you discarding a green cow? 
No, I I know I'm not because I just don't have any colour apart from grey. Yeah, me too. Uh, I've got I've I've got four (laughs) Jersey cows in hand. So, right. So I am going to build building three B. Okay, so building three B requires you to have two craftsmen, which you have. It will cost you four money. Four money. And where would you like to place it? Okay, could you count three spaces forward from the building I've already built, please? One, two, two three. So no, 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 including the bank spaces. Oh, the so one, two, three here. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Thank you. That's me done. Okay. Right. Well, that that sort of messes me up, but doesn't because there's no hazards here. Mm -hmm. So I can actually go through here at no cost. So I can avoid this building. Not that it costs me anything, but if you land on somebody else's building, you don't get to use the actions on it. You only get to do an auxiliary action. So it's, uh, it's a little bit inefficient. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to wave at your black hand and go, sorry, I haven't got any cash, so I don't have to pay. Gadzooks, sir. Gadzooks. Yeah. One, two, three. I will discard two of my finest Jersey cows for four money, but then I am not buying a hazard tile because that costs seven and I don't have seven. Right. Done. Your go. I have 12 money, right? Yeah. You have 12 money, yes. Uh, question in the chat about how it would compare to Maracaibo. Um, if you are in the chat and you have opinions on that, uh, put them in the chat, uh, and I will try and uh, remember to talk about that at the end because I do have thoughts in my head of comparisons between the two. But I'll I'll leave that for the end. But yeah, if you're in the chat and you've got thoughts, uh, please feel free to put them in the chat. So yeah, George gets an answer. Okay, so I shall move to the building to the left of your. Yeah, that one. Let's yep. move to maximum sorry, you two have of three. Two cowboys. Draw two cowboys. So, so draw, I can draw two, two cards, cards and discard two cards. Yep. Discard two cards. Uh, cool. And then I shall move uh, to the next building that I built. Yeah, so you get to do an auxiliary action. Where I shall chuck away two cards. Well, draw two, two and chuck away two. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then You're you right. move one. Yeah. Nice. And a pair of cards. For four oh. money. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you buying a hazard tile? No, thank you. No. Not yet. So I've now got 16 money, according to me here. Yeah? 16 money. Yes. Yeah. And I've managed to cycle pairs of cards to become other pairs of cards. <laughs> Nicely Fantastic. done. Yeah. Nicely done. Right. So I'm still in the position where I desperately need money. And oh dear. Yeah, this hasn't quite worked. Um, no, this hasn't quite worked. So I'm going to have to move to here. Now, because I've only got one engineer, I only move one space on here. But then as my executive action thing, auxiliary action, I am actually going to move my train back to burn a cow. Okay. So that cow is permanently removed from the game. I can smell that from here. Yeah. Mmm, roast beef. Right. I draw a replacement card and I'm done. Okay. Skinny deck, right. Uh, I've got my colour challenge on the screen again. I will call you back in a minute. Okay. But right now, that. yeah, it's bizarre. Mm. I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to move to the next next one along. Yep, that carry on, carry on that one. Yep, I'm going to pay two dollars. Yep. Move my curve. Move my train forward twice. 
Two spaces. Two spaces. Um, and then do another two card swaps. So okay. I'm nearly through my deck again with all of wow. this card swapping. Yeah. Way to and do this it. This time, this time more than any other time, we're going to find a way, find a way to get away this time. All right. Uh, going right. to here. I'm going to ditch the Black Angus for two coins, and then I will spend six to buy Brown Swiss. There. And then I draw a replacement card. Oh no. Not ideal. Okay. Yep. Okay. Move to the bike house space. Move to which one? This one? Yeah, same one you're yep. on. Um, I'll buy the yellow. Sorry, no, I, I don't have a black cow. I'll buy the yellow cow for three. Cost three because cows. you have two cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's yours. Now, there's something else that you can do with spare cowboys as well, isn't there? You can add extra cards into yes. the offer. Yeah. Yeah, one, one cow. Uh, sorry, two cows for every one. Two cows one for a cowboy. cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Am I go? Yeah. I'm going to go to Kansas. We will put that on there. Uh, we'll put another engineer on there. And we will put a craftsman on there. Get some replacements. So green TP. Right, while they're doing that, I'm going to drop off and call back so I can try okay. and get cover back yep, on my no screen. No problem. Sorry. If anybody's experienced this Skype problem before that John's having, because it is an odd one. Uh, there we go. Oh. Back again? Yeah, I've got no okay. idea what that's about. No. Uh, right, so I reveal my hand. I've got six. The extra really? gray cow is, is not going to do yeah. anything, but I do have six, uh, which is all right, because that allows me to put a disc in, and I'm going to do the cycling one, in Colorado Springs. Now, that costs me three money, because my train is all the way back here. So I only actually get three money from that. Um... And I'm actually going to lose one point at the end of the game because I have discs in these two spaces here. Um, but yeah, that's that's that done. Um, yeah, three money's not very much, but that goes back to the start. I get a new hand of four cards. Okay, I'm going to join. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go and buy people again or hire. Yeah, hire, hire people. Co-workers. Yep. Or cow workers. <laughs> cow workers. So I've got, I've got a, a one for two gold. Oh, sorry, I've got a two, a white two for two gold. Yeah. Okay, so here's where you start wrestling with. I start wrestling with my brain, right? Mm -hmm. I want to really exploit this move by buying two people. Yeah. I also want to buy a cowboy because I want to make that, um, that building right down at the bottom there. Yep. even more powerful however if i buy the the cowboy i can't buy two people because i don't have enough money to no, buy that second you, person you can so he, here's the two coins for buying the second person yeah the cheapest cowboy oh no sorry cowboy yeah yeah no, i was looking at crap so i can buy two i can <clears> buy two individuals so the other thing about this is i'm not trying to I'm going to reveal my strategy to you, Paul. Big That's deal. fine. I, um, I can't take I'm, advantage of it. <laughs> I'm not really interested in buying the higher value buildings. Now, it, it, it's ha so happened that um, builders are incredibly – it's been discovered that builders are incredibly powerful. And if you can, that's probably the easiest way to win. Right. I don't want to follow that strategy today. Um, so I'm now looking, thinking, what else – you know, what can I do? And yeah. I'm looking at those two five railwaymen. 
There's two engineers here that are cheap. Yeah, yeah, two engineers. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I've got a one in my hand, and I can use that, the placing of the rail women to get me to boost my hand, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go for a railway man. Going to buy these two? But I don't have a second one in my hand. Right. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that anyway. So that's twelve dollars for those two. Twelve dollars, but whenever you place these engineers on your board, there are immediate benefits. So, which of these two benefits would you like? I will take the uh, certificate benefit. Okay, so that moves there. Now that's a temporary certificate. You can spend that whenever you are trading in cows at Kansas to boost your um, uh, yeah. boost your yeah value value of my hand at yeah. delivery uh taylor's uh, in the chat and said yeah the 72 people watching but only 12 likes please remember to click that little thumb on the video it might sound silly but it apparently does help the algorithms um, and if you're not watching this live then hello um but please put a comment in the in the uh the, the not the, the like obviously if you're watching this live you can put it in the live chat if you're not watching this live you can actually put a comment on the video and that apparently helps the algorithms as well so yes thank you very much are you all done? I am. Right, okay, my go. Thank all you. the way back here. I am uh now we have that, we have that. So I could do that. Oh, it's this building that you've built here, it's really annoying me. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um now, is there any way I can get twelve money beforehand? No, there isn't. Um, I need to be moving my train. You booked two engineers. They were the engineers I really wanted. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it's all right. You know, it's, I was thinking I might go down the train sort of um, yeah. strategy because yeah. you didn't seem to be moving your train that much. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go slowly, slowly. We'll play that, we'll get two coins, but then I'm going to spend the two coins. Um, and I'm going to build, so I can either upgrade this building from a one into a two. Mm -hmm. um, although that one is no good. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll keep that one there. Uh, so I'm just going to put this one on the board. Um, and I'm going to put this one... that's exactly where i put it yeah yeah um because you're gonna have to come through that whenever you want yeah. to use this building yeah. right uh, and that's it that's my go done that's it and you're off to kansas i am okay uh the darketeer is in the chat saying did you take your second benefit for buying an engineer he did not because john only had Didn't. he only had one, one gray one card in hand so was only able to use one one of the two benefits but well spotted but thank you um, right blue tp or green tp green please green engineer or craftsman engineer please engineer so we're having a market restock yeah so do we get rid of these and draw seven more no, or do we just we draw up to seven one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have uh, two brown Swisses, which are the red ones. Mm -hmm. uh, another West Highland Brune Coo. Area. Oh, we have another brown Swiss. And we have a yellow one. Okay. So one yellow, three red, uh, and an extra brown. Right. Engineer or cowboy? That's on the six value. That's on the six value row. Uh, cowboy, please. Cowboy. Okay. I will replenish them now. His hat is hot. So we have a blue TP. We have a craftsman, and we have a another craftsman. Right. How's your hand of cards looking? Cool. Uh, I've got. Um... Is that good? Value there. 
the Skype seems to have frozen. <laughs> yeah, we've lost you, John. And I will cash in. Oh, you're breaking up a lot. One, two, one, two. Yeah, can hear you now. It was as soon as you put the cards okay, up on the seven. screen. So it's seven. Seven. Plus my... Um, Certificate. Certificate is eight. Uh, eight. And I will deliver to Topeka. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so you get the full eight money. Yeah. Okay. Which disc? Uh, move my train backwards one for a certificate. This one. Okay. And that goes on there. Uh, and you're back to the start. Draw a new hand of cards. Yeah. So I've got $9, is that right? Yeah. You have nine dollars, yes. Okay. Well, my my plans have changed because the the cow market has been refreshed. So that's good. So I will land here. I will get rid of a Guernsey cow for four money. I will then spend six money to buy a brown Swiss, and that's me done. And none of us have taken any objective cards yet, which is interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, ah, Paul Harris has popped in. I think I think Paul oh, might cool. have um, played this game a couple of times as well. I think I, I, I vaguely remember him mentioning it once. So good to see you, Paul. Hope you're keeping well. Uh... Okay, I'm going to do something just a bit strange. Um, Go for a swim in the swamp? No, I am going to build a building. Yep. There's me, there's me green cow. You've got a green cow for two money. Yeah. I have two builders, two craftsmen. Yeah. You're building a new one or upgrading? Left. Uh, I am I'm going to build a new one. Okay. I'm going to build my own cattle market, please. Okay. Where I'm would going you like to put to build it, it at the end of the desert. I'm doing stuff that I never normally do. Okay. Just because these spaces have special bonuses uh, yeah. applied to them. But what's what's good is that this is a great space because you've avoided this toll here, and there are currently no hazards in the desert and none yeah. coming up. Yeah. So, yeah, good space. Right, me, I'm going to go one. I have to pay you one. That's all I've got. Two, three. Uh, bit of a rubbish space. Now, if I land here and use your building, I don't get to use this extra benefit, do That's I? That's correct. No, okay. It's just one auxiliary action. One. Yeah. So I'm just going to land here and I get two money, which is awful. But, you know, ends the breaks. Your go. Inefficient turns is not the best way to play this game. Okay, so I land and I do the um, draw two cows. Yep. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Yeah. It's done. And, and then, then, just for fun, I'm going to go. So we, yeah, I'm going to go that way through the desert. Yeah. Got a white cow. Up. Yeah, we've got a white cow for four dollars. One more money, and then what would you like to buy? Uh, I've got two dollars. Uh, how much money have I got? Have I got twelve? You've got sixteen. Okay, let's let's buy that cow for twelve dollars then. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right. Uh, oh, and I, get to, and I get to discard a card and get a certificate bump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, discard any card you want from your hand yeah. and you get a certificate. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Right, I'm going to move one, 
two to there. <clears throat> oh, it's not enough to buy a hazard. Oh. Okay, I'm going to make it three. I'm going to move three. I'm going to go here. This allows me to buy a green or blue TP tile. Mm -hmm. And this, at this point, you actually get the money that's printed above it. Now, although I want the blue one, I'm going to take the green one because it's more money and I think I might need the green one <laughs> later and you also need the green one. Mm -hmm. um, and I get to do auxiliary action. So I'm going to do the draw two and discard two. So I've drawn those two and I'm going to discard uh, I'm going to discard those two. Okay, that's me done. Okay, so I shall move to the train movement thingy, yeah. please. So here and here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you have three engineers. Yep. So it goes one, choo choo. Two. Now, this... are you going in? Yes, I am. You are going in. Okay. It's imperative. It's in the rules that you make a choo choo noise when you move your train. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what's the cost there? Is that two? Cost two. Or... Okay, so play two dollars. Yeah, you have to lose one of your people. I do. I put one my station master. Your engineer. Yeah. And you station get that master one. slot. Yeah, and I get that one. Yeah. What's the bottom half of that one? Uh, I think it's at the end of the game. For every two certificates, two you have certificates, to get three yeah. points. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the disc that I'm going to put on there is then move the train backwards for a certificate bump okay nice okay you done yes oh hang on that's the train move no i've got my auxiliary reaction which will be to cycle my deck again so i've got uh, two more oh, cards you do. to pick up yes so you're cycling your deck twice okay throw those straight away done okay um so i've got four five six seven eight that's interesting, but that's going to cost me a lot of money. But it is a. Oh, yeah, I think this is this. This might be worth it. It might not, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm going to move one, two, three, and we're going to go to Kansas. So that's going to go on mm -hmm. there. That's going to go on there. And that's going to go on there. OK, draw some new ones. We have a green TP, we have a cowboy, and we have a blue TP. So that's that, that, and that. I reveal my hand, which is pretty good. It's 10. Ooh, well done. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's 10 money. But out of that 10 money, I'm probably going to have to pay because I could go on Albuquerque. And I think I am. And it's a black border, which means I can use one of the black discs. So I think I'm going to take off this one, which actually costs okay. me five money. But to place it here, I have to pay one, two, three, four, five. So that's actually all of that 10 money that I just earned gone. Um, but it means that my hand size is now five rather than four. Um, yeah, so that's that, that's that, that's that, that goes back there. I have no cards in my deck, so off we go. So my move is going to be one, two, three. Um, don't have enough money to buy people. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy cows, so I'm just going to do a one move to pick up to trade with tribes. What colour is that TP? Because well, I'm in black and white here at the moment. This is blue. That's blue, is it? I'll pick yeah. it up anyway for four dollars. Yeah. And I'll cycle my hand for for um, two cards. Yep. Yeah. Which is nice. Right. Where am I going to go now? Definitely need people and don't have any people. Hmm. 
So I could do that and that. I think that's what we're going to have to do. But then again, I've got no people. Um, right. Let's start having to think about these these ear objectives. Um, yeah, I don't really want to pay all of my hard earned cash to the bank. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip the building. Um, I'm going to go on to here. I'm going to play a Guernsey cow to get two money. And then I will spend, uh, sorry, to get four money. Um, that gives me, that gives me ten. Do I want to buy one of those other cows? No, I don't think I do. I'm going to save my money this time. Oh, it's a tricky choice, isn't it? It is a tricky choice. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save my money. So I'll draw a new card. You'll go. Yeah, Brendan, I think uh, Paul did pay his five money to expand his hand. I did. Hand size. Yes. Fact, I know he did, yeah. Yeah, because I earned 10. Uh, it, I had to pay five for my train and then the other five for that. So effectively, I gained no money for that Kansas run. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm playing this like a fumbling schoolboy. Um, which, which is fine, because so I'm, I'm playing worse. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, go straight to Kansas, please. Paul. Yeah, one, two, three. Blue or green? Uh, you want blue, don't you? I want blue and you want green. So green then, please. The green. Paul. Uh, stick uh, the cowboy. Cowboy. Uh, yep. And then engineer or blue. Engineer. Okay. What have you got? Gosh, we've moved through this so quickly. We, we have. I didn't know how long this game was going to take, but. Okay. So I've got oh, ten in. I think that's ten in my hand. Okay. And I've got an infinite certificate, and I've got a. Temporary certificate, so 12. 12 if you want it. Um, I will then deliver to um, I'll deliver to, uh, to Albuquerque, please. Yep. Which disc are you going to place? Um, the first movement disc, please. Right, so delivering to Albuquerque means that you've crossed uh, one, two, three. <laughs> You lose three out of that money, but you then get two back. Uh, so you get three back because you've unlocked that movement one. Okay. So, so I've you now got 18? 18 gold. 18 money. Okay. Yeah. And you're in Albuquerque as well. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're done. My go. So yeah. I, unfortunately, I'm going to move through here and give you two money. No, sorry. Downside. Um, but then I'm going to land here. I'm going to take an objective card. And I'm going to take... Top one. So that goes into my discard pile. Get replenished with a new one. Uh, and then I move my train on one. Uh, that's me. Okay. Uh, I'll move to my card shuffling place, please. Yeah. So you draw two, discard two. Draw two, one, two, discard two, which was exactly the same two that I picked up. Thank you very much. And then fates. Where um, do you want to go next? Uh, I'll give you some money back. Yay. <laughs> and then uh, move to the next one. Okay. And draw two more. Draw one, two and discard two. Two and. And then you move there. Discard two. Now move. Oh, hang on. Yeah, and then I've discarded a pair of two ones. For four. four. Would you like to buy a hazard tile? 
No, I don't okay. think I will. Um, so there's because seven gold for a maximum of four victory points, not a great conversion rate. So At the start of the I game, or or just in general? In 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 general. Okay. Right. So I go one, two, three. <clears throat> Say hello to you. I mean, obviously, you have to do it if you've got some objectives. Yes. Objectives. Are, or there's another boost somewhere. So two Jersey cows, and in fact, it's what I'm going to do. I am going to buy uh, this one. Got four victory points on it, is it? Uh, three. Sure. Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. Cool. I'm just going to go to the trades with... Oh, hang on. Do to the trades with tribes, please? Yep. Yeah. Going to pick up the green, green TP for four. four. I'm going to cycle my deck. Yep. Why would anybody ever go this way? It's so expensive. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I mean, these I'm spaces just are really good. It's just, it seems way too expensive. I've just annoyed myself. Come on. Okay, so, um, okay, now let's have a think about this. Which of these things do I want to do? Because that's going to go there and that's going to go there, so that's going to get better. Can't do that. I do have the money for that. Although that means I'm only delivering a seven up there, which is not good. We need eight. So I need an extra one certificate or cow thingy. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go here. I don't have to, but I'm going to. I've got one engineer, so my train moves two, two, one space. I'm then going to do my auxiliary action, um, which is to draw two and discard two. Yeah. Okay, done. Here we go. I want to make one more stop and uh, sorry mm -hmm. so what's going on in my brain is I, I want to make one more stop only yep because otherwise I'm going around the wrong all too slowly I don't have a black cow but I've got loads of money you do have I'm cycling my deck 26 really money. effectively yeah I'm cycling my deck really effectively yeah I can pick up that red I, I, the only three card I don't have now is the red one, which uh -huh. will only cost me three dollars. Because you've got two cowboys, so that, yep. So that would leave me with uh, twenty-three, which means I could pick up two cowboys. Yeah. Which would be costing me seventeen, and I then get a a free hazard, a free hazard, and the ability to cycle my deck even faster the next yeah. time. Mm. And, and the strategy that you've taken in this game has been made possible because of the the build the random decision yeah, the at the start of which buildings yeah. yeah yeah so my other point of frustration is last time i could have delivered to the 12th slot right i decided, I decided not to for the for the one dollar and that was a silly thing to do because right. i've now got a 10 score in my hand Right, okay. And I can't deliver there again, so I'm sort of kicking myself, but that's just an aside. Uh, so I then also thought, can I move my train forward faster to get that extra infinite certificate? But I, I couldn't do it because they sold me, yeah, sold me, uh, engineer. So let's trundle along then. I'll go and buy that cow, that red cow for three. You don't have a black cow, but you're just spending, 
yeah. three money for a brown Swiss. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, so one, two, three. These aren't the cards we're looking for. <laughs> they can go about their business. Uh, I will join you here. I will throw away a Black Angus for two money. Um, and I am also not going to buy a cow. Your go. Okay, so I've got 10 in my hand and an infinite certificate, which says 11. That's 11. Okay, I've got a white cow. Even if I pick up a duplicate card now, I've still got eight plus nine, which gets me to the highest white space I can because I can't, I'm not going to be able to deliver past right. ten unless I draw unless I draw that five cow that I bought. Okay, so that's my thinking. So I right. am going to sell this one cow for two gold. Yep. I'm going to buy it. I've just noticed Bez is in the chat. Hi, Bez. Thank you for joining in. Good to see you here. All the way from Manchester. Manchester. Oh, that bit. No, no, no. Bez. Different Bez. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, can I, I just need to check that I did actually I did actually put that five card. Right, like, okay. Brilliant. Uh, so, which people did, would you like to buy? Uh, cowboys. Cheapest cowboys. So, uh, 13 plus 2, yeah, 13 plus 2 is 15. 15. So you highest get value a hazard tile for free. Yeah, highest value hazard tile that's there, which is, I think, is They're it only a 2? Okay. So, the from the canyon, please. Okay. Here you go. Right. So I'm finally going to buy a person, which I know I should have done about an hour ago, but <laughs> now that gives me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is not enough for two people. Um, no, so I'm just going to buy this engineer who's so old. He's been there since the start of the game. <laughs> he's going to go on there. I'm going to get rid of a one card to get one certificate, and that cost me six. That's me done. I'll draw two cards. I hope okay, to get lucky. Deliver to so I delivered to Kansas. I've yep. got 10 in my hand. I'll just put one. this blue TP on because you have no choice. I'll then put this craftsman yeah. on. You have no choice. We have a market okay. restock. And would you like engineer or blue TP? I don't particularly want to speed the game up at the moment, so I want to do blue TP, please. Okay, that goes on there. I've restocked the market. So we have another Texas Longhorn. Uh, we have another three Victory Point West Highland, and we Ooh. have another Brown Swiss. Come out. Ooh. Okay, I will restock the future market. What have you got in your hand then? Okay, I've got uh, uh, two threes and two twos. Bloody hell, John, come on. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong space. That's it. I'm looking at a five second delay of where my hand is rather than. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 10 in my hand. Yep. Uh, plus one for my infinite certificate. Is 11. 11. So, I'll deliver to eight, please. I'll give you the 11 money. Uh, which disc are you going to place? Oh, sorry. Um, the victory point movement one, please. Uh, this one? That's black. Yes. Yeah. And oh, the sorry. Is white. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm being dim. Next one down, please. Next one down on the single cog action. This one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That goes there. I've given you your um, money, which was 11, but you have to pay. Two. Um, yep. And now because you've got discs on those two, you get one of the objective cards. Yeah. Can you see them okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember what... Uh, okay. Um, uh, Ryan's just joined in. Good to see you, Ryan. Not seen you for a while. Uh, it's third in his top one. three games of all time and he loves the hats. I mean, your copy of the game should have come with a hat. Ours did. 
So yeah. If, yeah, yeah. I, it was in a big box. Yeah. Really big box. Yeah. You want to write to Stephen Bonacore, uh, even though he's not strong old games anymore, um, but write to him anyway. And just tell him, where's my hat? There you go. He'll appreciate it. <laughs> I can see you. I can see you causing chaos in the same way. Yeah. <laughs> I I'll can give you the two houses. I'll just put Stephen Bonacore's personal email address in the chat right now. <laughs> two houses and two. Um, two houses and two hazards. One third one down on the right hand side. This one. Yeah. Okay, and that goes into your discard pile. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. One that I could actually do. Like that, that poor chap that decided, that decided to complain because we weren't playing multiplayer Gloomhaven Digital at the time. Yes. Well, we, we are tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Subtle trail, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh. I think day. I'm back at the start now, aren't I? Uh, yes, you are back at the start. Right. Okay. So, me, I'm going to Kansas. That's going to go on there. Uh, that's going to go on there, and that's going to go on there. Wow, yeah, the game's not going to last that much longer, is it? No. Okay, so I have, not counting the duplicate Black Angus, I have two, five, seven, nine, which is good because all I need is eight. So I'm not going to use my certificate. I'm going to use nine to get nine money, but I need to pay one, two, three four of that nine so I only get five I'm placing a white disc and the disc that I'm going to place is uh, I think that one which I should have placed earlier on right now that goes there which means I have made that connection and that connection so I can take two of these objective cards wow which I'm not going to be able to do hardly any of these, I don't think. So I'll take that one. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to take... You can draw from the top of the deck as well. Can. Can and if it's still in my hand at the end of the game, I, I don't lose any points for it. It's That's just correct. It's a dead card. Yeah. Um, but if you... Am I right in thinking that because you can't discard cards voluntarily, if you draw one of them and choose not to play it, it's stuck in your hand for the rest of the game? Yes. Right. Or it's stuck in your hand until you deliver it to Kansas. Yeah. Oh, yes, because then you discard everything. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be building stations any time soon. You can build the station where I am, by the way, Paul, but you obviously don't get the benefit of the I token. I have forgotten that. Thank you. I have forgotten that. Right. Two new cards come out. Ah. Right, and that is me done. Back to the start, and let's replenish some stuff. So we're going to be playing this every day for the next month. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, I'd love to. Tell you what, <laughs> this game deserves okay. to be played. Right, I'm going to draw my new five cards. I've only got four. Time to re me to reshuffle my fat deck. So um, there are private, more, obviously, the big takedown at the start of uh, start of just after lockdown, Paul. Yeah. Do you remember when people went a bit bonkers on TTS? So there's yeah. still people with private mods on yep. TTS for this game. And there's a couple that have got really nice automated setups and stuff. Yep. Uh, anyone that wants to ping me in Slack or go through you on the chat, I can let the people know where those are. Yep. Um, Obviously, lots of people in our community already um, know that stuff. There's also a um, what I describe as a COVID pet project by yep. a person that's automated the game in a web browser. I don't want to advertise it because nope. I don't think um, so. But again, if anyone wants to ask me about it in through you or you can refer people to it probably yes. actually as a professional games professional you probably don't want to but maybe probably, not. probably not no yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, uh, I, I could let people know about that yeah yeah anyway anyway go. right move to the um move to the first red building please Paul. yep 
Cycle, draw four cards and then discard four cards. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Becomes a bit clumsy. Sorry, I'm having to think because I've drawn a... Yeah, that's all right. Thank you. Uh, and then move up to three. I'll go and stand on my cattle market again, please. Are you, do you have a white cow that you want to discard? I do. Uh, which is four thingies. Four now I've got four you... cowboys. Okay, so but you I can should... do all sorts of things. I can, and I will. Uh, I will go for the brown, the brown cow now, brown cow. Uh, that one, yes please. Using how many of your cowboys? Three cowboys. Okay, so that costs you six money. And, and then I'll your... use the one cowboy yeah. to buy a red cow for six. For six. Yeah. Now, okay. sorry, I've just now got to find my brown. A brown. Oh, a brown. It was and a red. brown cow worth five points. Yeah, and a red. And a red one worth two. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is not ideal, this at all. And now, sorry. Go on. Get rid of a, a white cow for my cert bump, please. There you go. Oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get a certificate. Got about that. Extra little bonus. Right. Well, I'm going to play this objective card before I do my turn. So I get two money. I just have to now try and complete it by the end of the game. Um, and then, unfortunately, I don't have a green cow or a white cow to throw away. So this is pretty awful um i could go here but i'd have to pay four to the bank to bypass all of this stuff and actually i really need this cow so i mean i could land on your building and just do an auxiliary action but that seems quite weak as well mm -hmm. yeah oh this is tricky this is this is very tricky because i've got good cards in hand that mean i kind of want to get to the end as quick as possible um so yeah i think i'm gonna do something a little different i'm gonna miss oh then again the quicker the more we go to kansas the, the more the end of the game is going to come and I need to make sure I've got two hazards and a blue T. I need a blue TP and I need three of those cards. Let me just have a quick look at my deck to see what I've got. I think I've only got two. Oh no, I do have three. So I'm okay. I don't need to buy another one just yet. Um, so I've already done this objective and I'm close to doing that objective. Okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom ahead. So I'm actually going to go one, two, paying four to the bank. It's awful. Uh, three, which gets me two money. Or I could not do that and I could do an auxiliary action. Yeah, because that's only two money, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll do the auxiliary action and I will... Um, Move my train back one to burn another Jersey cow. There you go. Draw two cards. Your go. Okay, could you move me to um, to the neutral building with the train uh, next one? Thank you. So train goes two spaces so you... forward. Two, yeah. two. And then you've and got auxiliary I'll pay, I'll pay one money to move my train forward one. One money. Move your train forward to space seven. Okay. Right. Um, so 
So I've got this and I don't really want that. So I'm going to go one, is two. Is that three. 10 money? Sorry, Paul, is that 10 money that I've got? You have 10 money, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go one, two, three. I've landed on there. I take this tile and get eight money. Oh. One, two, three, eight. Uh, and I get an auxiliary action, which will be. Ah, so this is how I can cycle these cards from my hand. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to cycle cards. So double auxiliary action, I'll do that one twice. Draw two cards, discard two cards. Your go. Uh, I'll move. I'll come and join you. Yep. Which TP would you like to buy? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going uh, to do an auxiliary act. Sergio has just said, "Don't the hazards count as movements?" Yes, they do. Do they? Ah. Yeah. Right. Don't worry. Okay, I cheated well, then. Apologies for that. I'd forgotten that they. I I didn't think they counted as movements. So, all right. Mistake made. Thank um, you for spotting that in the chat. I must have been concentrating on something else. What do I? Um, I'll use my one auxiliary reaction to move forward one train space, please, and go into the turnout space. So one money to move your train one. Mm -hmm. And then are you buying the station? Yes, I am. So it costs you two. Which disc and which character? Builder. Sorry, Craftsman. And mm -hmm. uh, the second train movement. Okay. So is this an immediate two money when you take it? Yes. And then all your characters are worth one point at the end of the game? Yes. Okay, you now have nine money. And I will then pay two money to move my train forward to. Are you doing that? Second half, the first, the bottom part. Yeah, the... didn't didn't you just do that? No, I moved. I used one. Oh, I used my auxiliary action. Tile. No, no, you you right tile, correct tile. Yeah, I did the auxiliary action first. Yeah, and then oh, second, this one. And then if you move your finger to the left, yeah, yeah, two money for two spaces. Mm -hmm. I'd forgotten that there was another thing on there other than right. making a TP. No problem. Right. Where am I going to go? What have I got? I have that. So I think I have to do this. I mean, I could go to Kansas. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only need 12. So that's quite good, isn't it? Although. That would be nice as well, as would extra people. Yeah, I think, oh, cows or people? Cows or people? That is a difficult decision. Um, right. I think. See you, we're, Gareth. We're going to go people right so i don't have a white cow to discard but i do have lots of money so the first thing i'm going to do is buy an engineer for six which i'll take from here and put on there and discard that for two money and then the second one now that fourth engineer is recruit a person for two cheaper is that right Yes, that's correct. So that could be, a, if you had all the money, you could buy three people in that go. Yeah, well, I could do that. Yeah, I think let's do that. Let's spend another seven money to buy another engineer, put it on there, which then allows me to buy, and it's going to be a builder, which is normally six, but it actually only costs four. I'll take that one. Okay. So bought lots of people. 
Uh, and I draw another card. Done. Here we go. One money. Hmm. Uh, Paul had to disappear, Gareth had to disappear, and Rick said moo. Excellent. Pretty much what I expect. <laughs> Oh, and Rick, since you're watching, these are not trains, these are dragons, okay? Just, yeah. Right, where would you like to go, John? I'm just thinking oh, about thinking. Right, okay. ending, ending the game, not ending the game. Right, okay. We can't quite end it this turn. No, but then if right. I jump ahead and deliver, you will. Yeah. Probably, unless yeah, that, you have the option true. on the third row. Yeah, that is true. So if I jump ahead, da 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 da, you end the game. That means I get one more go. I'm not going to get another Kansas delivery. So uh, I will be able to move five. How much money have I got? Seven. Seven. I'll deliver to Kansas. I'll deliver to Kansas. You are doing it. Right. One, two, three. So Swamp Hazard or Green TP? Swamp, please. Okay. Craftsman or or Cowboy? Cowboy, please. And then same question again. No, next next row down. Ah uh, yeah, because that's where there was one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cowboy, please. Okay. And then what you got? I have a five, Ooh. two threes, uh -huh. that's 11, plus two 13. is 13, and plus your permanent one, 14, yeah, yeah. and I'll leave my one temporary certificate, yeah, so I won't 14. use that, um, but I will deliver to 12, please. Okay, so there's the 14 nice. cash. Yeah. If you limit nice. 12, that costs you yeah. two money. Yeah, okay. and it, my token comes off my uh, board. Which disc are you going to place? The one with three victory points to increase the movement to five movement. Thank you. Okay, and that's going to get you six extra points at the end of the game. Yeah. Because of that connection. Right. And just so people who might not play the game understand, the reason why I don't want to use that token, that certificate, is I'm hoping to move into the siding. And right. that has. Oh no, hang on, that's the wrong one. No. I've already got. I've already got it. No, that's right. I'll use that certificate as well. I'll take the gold. Sorry. Okay. Again, after one. I'm glad I talked that through. <laughs> right. So yes. So I'm going to Kansas. Uh, we're going to place. Um, yeah, the game is going to end, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what happens is the game ends. I get the two points, and you get one more turn. Well, I get one more turn. Yeah. So this this is pretty much irrelevant. Okay. Yeah. So. It wouldn't be irrelevant if the people buying thing was close to the start yeah. of the train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, wow. Fourteen. Plus my extra one is fifteen. So I get fifteen monies. Um so I could deliver all the way up to San Diego, but I might as well deliver to El Paso because that's gonna get me six mm -hmm. points at the end of the game. Um 
Now, money's not worth anything at the end, is it? Divide by five. So if you can spend it for victory points, you're better off keeping it as cash. Yeah, I don't think anything cash-wise is going to get me points. So that goes on there. So I got 15, but I have to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only get five, but I get an extra three because of that. So white discs can go anywhere, mm -hmm. but black discs can only go on black discs. Black. So I, I yeah. could have put a white disc on there if I'd have wanted to, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's all right. Um, so yeah, so that goes on there, and I think that's it. I think that is me done. Wow. Okay, so my final move will be land to the land on my. Oh. Sorry, uh, I did. I did deliver to Kansas and all that, right? So I need to draw three at four cards. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it do. does matter a little. Yeah, I'm going to draw my five as well. See if I get my purple cow. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, move to my hand shuffly space, please. Yeah. Draw four, discard four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh... Yeah. Um, and then move to my pay you to go. No, 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 no. Oh. Go to the that that one. Yeah. yeah. You pay me two gold to go through this building. Yeah. Auxiliary Use my action. Action to move forward. Two train movements. Choo choo. So two money. Yeah. Ah, to get in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you spend four. Yeah. To I'll... take that yeah. and put any old character. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter now. Cowboy would be fine. Put an engineer. You okay. wanted the job. Fine. Uh, pick off a white disc. Uh, again, doesn't matter. So the the certificate one. Or, uh, okay, that one doesn't matter. Is it yeah, right? It doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Oh. Um, move my uh, thingy along one. Uh, dispose of a pair of ones for four gold. Yeah. And buy a hazard. Yeah. So at this point, it's worth it because it's yeah one and two fifths of a point for three yeah. points. <laughs> yeah. And I also have just picked up. I think is the bottom of that station tile a hazard. A pair of hazards gets it is. Three yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So the game's over. Uh, now who went first? You went first, didn't you? Yeah. Don and Paul. Right. Okay. So five coins is one point. Yeah. Uh, I've got twenty-five. So five points for me. You've got one point. Uh, for me. You got nine. So one point for you. Uh, and that's the game. Brilliant. So I win with five points. John <laughs> scored one. Well done. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Right. Next, buildings. So you've got three, six, seven points from buildings. I have two points from buildings. Okay. Next is cities. So you've got minus 12. Yeah. And that's it. Nope. Plus six. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So your so minus net, six. net total is minus six. I have minus one plus six. So my net is five. Okay. Stations. You've got all three stations, which is one, two, three, four. I have zero. Hazards. I've got seven points from hazards. You've got five points from hazards. Cows. Now, this is cows in deck, discard pile, hand and everything, isn't it? Yes. I've only got 11. I think I've got 18. You got way more because you got the purple cow, didn't you? Mm hmm but it was, it was actually the lowest scoring purple cow. It yeah. only had five victory points on it. I thought that's what you were going to do at the end. Instead of going there to buy the hazard, 
I thought you were going to go here and buy another Texas Longhorn. Right. But it was probably about the same. Well, I remember I got the it extra did. station. Yeah. Um, objectives. So I've done that, and I've done that, and I do have three of those cows and one building. So I've got seven points from my objectives. Uh, you do have two stations and you do have the green teepee. You got three. Okay. Station master tiles. Uh, oh, hang on. I've got another objective which I picked up. Oh, this yes. One. You can play them, can't you? Yeah. Uh, now, I'm do I have two? Gonna play I have that. two hazards and I have two buildings, so I will play it for five okay. victory points. Another five. Nice. Yeah, my other objectives in my hand, I haven't quite done them, so. Okay. Right, next, Station Master Tiles. So for every two certificates, you get three points. You've got two certificates, that's three. Yep. For every character, you get one, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So 12 points for Station Master Tiles, I get zero. Mm -hmm. People, none of us get anything. None. Um, you've got three points for unlocking that. And I get two points. two points. Yeah. yeah. So the final scores. You, sir, is 1, 8, 2, 6, 11, 29, 29, 37, 49, 52. And I scored 5, 7, 12, 19, 30, 37, 39. So as expected, you won. Because, um, yeah, I, I've not played this in a very long time. But it's fantastic, isn't it? It is brilliant. Yeah, if you were expecting so, to see two expert players playing the game really well, um, <laughs> go and watch a different video, I think. <laughs> so so an okay score is 60. A okay. Good score is not, a good score is 90. And an astounding score where you have your, your face rubbed in it is 115, right. 120. Okay. What's your highest score? I think I've got to 110. Nice once yeah um playing playing with the playing with the people that are in the chat here like claire and radu etc and um brendan i think sort of radu scored 92 the last game to win okay 70s and normally a winning score yeah so 39 Before, yeah. what you're saying is a bit rubbish could could do better <laughs> But very good for very good for somebody who hasn't played for two years. Yeah, yeah, and obviously concentrating on the stream and everything else, it is a little distracting. But it it was just good to play it again. It is such a good game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If I ever did, I, uh, yeah, as I say, my 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 two top favourite games of that year were Feast for Odin and this. This, to be honest, is probably the better game, but Feast for Odin is just so enjoyable to play with the whole taking the bits and the Tetris and feeding and everything else. But yeah, this, this is, this is the more, more complex game. So you were asked about the difference between this and Maracaibo, or, yeah. you know, which you feel is better, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, I do like Maracaibo and, and I'm probably best answering the question at the end of the month, because one of the things that I'm doing this month is starting next week, I'm going to be playing through the entire Maracaibo uh, campaign. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so there will be, Lots of videos are coming up over the next um, yeah few weeks with me playing the whole solo campaign. Having only played Maracaibo about three or four times, I do like Maracaibo. I think it is a very good game. I think this is probably a a better game. I think this is uh, I prefer this one to Maracaibo, but that's not to say that Maracaibo isn't good. I think both games are very good. I think this one is just I I I'd struggle to not give this game a 10 out of 10. And I, I don't give games 10 out of 10, okay? Mm -hmm. But with this game, everything about it, the variability, the way that the gameplay works, the way that the mechanisms interact, the rulebook's fantastic, the graphic design is fantastic. You know, I, I can't really fault this game, apart from I can't see why anybody would ever go down this route here. It seems, yeah. unless I'm missing something, yeah. this bit seems like are. a completely pointless part of the the board i've only seen one person ever build there and it was their first game right and i kind of said don't do that don't do that <laughs> yeah yeah 
But other than that, I think it's fantastic. Now, have you've played Maracaibo, haven't you, John? Because you played it here. Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I, I think I won, Paul, as well. I think you did. Um, <laughs> but only because someone else didn't score the right number of points. Yeah. Yeah. I, what do I think? So I haven't played Maracaibo enough to understand the combos of mm. the crown, the, 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 the crown, the card things yep. where you've got crowns and things like that. So I haven't worked hard enough. So the second time I, I played it, I got beaten into a pulp by Mo and, and somebody else. Um, but we did find that the whole war thing and moving mm -hmm. the England-France stuff up the track did seem to be powerful. And it yes. seems that that is actually the strongest route to victory. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody win it really without focusing on that. So maybe that's part of the reason that it feels a little bit less balanced yeah. than this stuff. Yeah. Whereas this one, you mentioned earlier on that there is a strategy of the easiest way to win is the big building strategy, putting lots of mm -hmm. big buildings. If, but I've seen if you've games got won... builders, if if you've got builders coming out, yeah. of course, if you don't have builders coming out, you're stuck. Yeah. I've seen games won with people getting the train to the very very yeah. end of this track and, yeah. and abusing that. I've seen games won. Uh, with the big cow strategy, I've also heard yeah. is, is another one. Um, so yeah, there, there are a number of strategies in this game, which, you know, all of which can work. It's just yeah. you have to react to the, yeah. the setup, the layout of the board, the way that things come out, the tiles that you get, and every game is going to play differently uh, in a way because of the, yeah, all, all of the different and variable setups. And, and you have to be able to adapt. You, you can't, yes. can't think, well, oh, this is going to be builders. Because if builders don't come out down the, the yes. rest of the track, you yeah. know, you've got I mean, to adapt. These are all the tiles we didn't see. Bearing in mind, we only played a two-player game. If we were mm -hmm. playing a four-player game, this would have filled up more. So the chances of, what, uh, of the right things coming out for you is higher. Whereas in a two-player yeah. game, we're only seeing two tiles per... Yeah. Per row, so yeah, we're not, and, we're definitely not seeing all of the tiles. And there is an adaption which says you take some of the tiles out, so the balance is fairer because you've got the the right the tiles of a four player game there. So you could just see builders all the time and nothing else. So right, you can take out I don't know six builders, five cowboys. I don't know, can't remember the numbers. Right, off the top okay. Of my head, so that it's a bit even, but it came out as a reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they did come out extent. reasonably reasonably so uh so yeah as, as i mentioned at the start you would have driven here this morning and we would have done this this was always the plan to play this this afternoon it just would have been in yeah. person uh we were going to do something tonight as well but we're not uh we're both having our respective nights off but tomorrow morning we are meeting up to play gloomhaven but we're going to be playing yeah. gloomhaven digital <laughs> with the multiplayer with the actual real multiplayer option which i've never played john has been playing a lot of over the last yeah. Six months or so? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, a year since it first, sorry, sorry, a year early access and since yeah. since multiplayer's come out six months or so. Yeah. Thanks to Frodo in the channel. Yep. Yeah. By the way. So yeah, so that's happening uh, tomorrow morning. In fact, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the picture up on screen uh, now. Is it this picture? I hope it's this picture. Nope, that's a picture of a cat. It's not that picture. Um, where is the picture? Bear with us a minute. Why is there a picture of a cat there? <laughs> There's a picture of a cat everywhere you look. Right, okay, here is my plan for this week. Right, so this is the, this is the plan for this week. Uh, the top 10 video is done. It's, it's not finished rendering yet. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be finishing rendering that tonight. So that top 10 video of the games of 2019, that's done and that'll be available soon. Uh, did Shadow Run Returns today, did, did Great Western Trail this afternoon. Uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, Gloomhaven Digital, 10 a.m. with John. Uh, then tomorrow night, I'm doing a live playthrough of El Grande, which is, yeah, an old game. It's a former Spiel des Jahres winner, but we're going to be playing through that tomorrow. I think we've got either four or five people for that. That is happening seven o'clock uh, tomorrow night. And as I may have mentioned at the start, I can't remember, but this month is part of my series of live streams uh, of playing games, which are not sponsored in any way. So... All of this month's live streams are made possible through the support of the Patreon campaign. Uh, if you like the videos, obviously, please definitely click like uh, and leave a comment afterwards. But if you are in a position to be able to support me uh, and help fund the channel, that would be great. Um, Patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Other than that, thank you very much, John. I will thank be speaking you, to you.
tomorrow morning for setting up Gloomhaven Digital before we go live. Um, oh, I think your Skype's broken again. <laughs> yes, it looks like John's Skype has, has disappeared. So I will, I will turn that off. I'll turn that off. And yeah, there we go. Right. So yeah, thank you very much to everybody for watching. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining me in the chat. There were so many people in the chat. I wasn't able to keep up with it because I was trying to remember how to play the game as well. Um, but yeah, and hello to everybody who is watching this afterwards. Take care, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for some more live streams. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Cheers, well. Bye. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.